So do you remember when we were silent? Silent? Silent. We were silent for the day of silence. Shh. So we're going to talk to someone about how it went and, and what impact it has on students. Shh. Day of Hi, my name is Pal Sanchez, and I'm here with Sam Cioli to talk about the day of silence that was last Friday. So Sam, what did you and other students do on the day of silence? On the day of silence, we stayed silent the entire school day to represent things like bullying for you know, race or sexuality, just to convey a message that it should be accepted by everyone, that everyone's equal. Okay, and how many students participated? About 70 students participated in the Day of Silence, which was amazing for the first time we ever did it. So how well do you think it went? I think it went pretty well. You know, I know some people had a hard time staying silent all day, but I think that at the end of the day, our message overall was conveyed really, really well to the rest of the school, and I think that it was something great that we all did for a good cause. And do you think students stayed silent all day? I think they did pretty well for the most part. It was hard to go from you know talking to teachers and answering questions in class and just even someone saying hi to you in the hallway. But I think the most important thing was that we all remembered what we were doing it for and we knew that we just had to focus and do our best. So how did you do personally? I definitely slipped up a couple of times. It was really hard, like I said. You just almost forget sometimes or someone just asks you a question and it's like you just want to answer right away and you know the answer but it so was worth it. How did you communicate with people? We actually tried to use sign language a lot. <laughs> we would try to write things down on pieces of paper but people still didn't get what we were saying but a really good way we had a lot of people ask us questions about why we were doing it and things like that and we each got a pass that explained you know why we were being silent mm -hmm. So it was really good to be able to show the person the past and then they kind of understood and then they wanted to know more about it the next day when we were able to talk. So what do you think people learned? I think people learned that it's important to treat everyone equally. You know, everyone has different beliefs, they have different likes, but at the end of the day we're all one school and one community and it's just important to stick together and support everyone. So do you think um, this is going to happen again in the I future hope so. years? I think it needs to happen again. It was a great and powerful message, and I think kids need to join the No Place for Hate Club mm -hmm. and continue Day of Silence. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I just think overall it was a great message that we represented, and I'm really proud to be part of something like that at Norristown. You know, we don't have a lot of stuff like that, but I think it was great that we were able to bring that to our school. Okay, thanks, Sam. I'm Pal Sanchez. I was here with Sam Scioli talking about the day of silence that happened last Friday and over 70 students participated. Now back to Eagle's Eye.